In this video, we will be covering the Global Info. The Global Info is attached to the game state, so its lifespan will be available for the entire length of the match. It is also net relevant and replicated to all clients, meaning it is accessible client side as well as server side. So you can place all of your replicated variables related to the game state inside of this class. We can find the example global info under the examples, proxies, and then global info example. Once inside the global info, you'll see it's fairly blank. There's not much present inside the global info unless you click the class defaults. Then you'll see we have a player skin table available as well as a custom item table. We will cover these in later videos, mainly the player skin table will be covered with the player proxy and the custom item table will be covered with custom items. It's important to note that they are in here and this is where you will specify to use them. Also, this is where you select what type of limited ammo you would like to use. There is unlimited, limited generic, which means any ammo type will work with any weapon, and limited specific, which means you need specific ammo types for each weapon. You could also disable attach mode if you do not want people to remove or replace attachments. We could also change the limited ammo type during runtime by using the nodes or the functions rather within the global info you can get the limited ammo type as well as you could set it via a console command as long as you were to call it server side this will not work client side you can also disable voting as well as disable attach mode during runtime we can get a reference to the skin table as well as the custom item table if we need to look them up and that's a relative overview of the global info. As I said, there's not much here by default, but this is where you will adjust your global parameters that will persist for the length of the match. And once again, these can be changed during runtime using these functions provided. To create a global info, we will simply right click in our content browser, go to blueprint class. We will search for global info and we will select Pavlov Global Info as our base class. Here we could simply name it. And with this example created, if we would like to specify it to be used in our game, we will go to our game logic. We will go to our class defaults at the top. We will go to the Global Info class and we will select the one that we have just created. Since the global info is attached to the game state, it is easily accessible on all clients and in the server. We can simply right click in the graph and type in get global info, and this will allow us to get a reference to the global info. Note in the very first second that the server is started up, it may be invalid. After that, it should be valid for the duration of the match. To get the type that we have just created, we can simply cast it to global info example one. And then from here, if we'd like to get a variable, which we could simply create one very quickly. If we wanted the value for the variable to be replicated to clients and be available on the server, we could go ahead and set it to replicated. If we did not need to replicate it, we could set it to none. If we'd set this to replicated, we could get the testing variable, both client and server side. It's important to note that any replicated variable should be set on the server. Also important to note, the global info can be accessed from within any class. That just about wraps up the global info. In the next video, we will be covering the custom item table, how we can create it, and how we can add custom items to it and set them up. 